Meanwhile, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party, Atan Atrono, is displeased over the process of transmitting the election results by the INEC, by the Independent National Electoral Commission. He said some party agents refused to sign result sheet after sorting and counting of the results because it wasn't uploaded. In so many places, it's either the staff there refused to sign the results and upload that they are going to now take the result up to the coalition center. You are seeing what's happened here. You had to take intervention of some of the security agencies who came here before they now started uploading. Before, they said it wasn't uploading, but now it suddenly started uploading. And maybe if this wasn't my area, maybe it would have been the same that's happened. There even there's a place where they don't even have result sheet in MBC, upon BC. You see, so the thing is crazy because we are winning massively on the ground. They are trying everything humanly possible to fight and thwart it. But we will not allow it. I hope INEC is hearing me now. We will not allow it. Human rights will not allow it to. It was peaceful, especially here at this boot. It was generally peaceful. But um, we have also been getting uh, reports um, across the state of very massive vote buying, uh, which is very sad. But it is what it is. That's exactly what we are seeing. Um, unfortunately, uh, it seems like uh, the government in power has uh, taken advantage of the, the, the impoverishment of the people, weaponizing poverty and presenting money at this last minute for people to change their, their conscience and change their vote. But let's see how it goes. Well, I don't have any issues um, with INEC in terms of logistics. I think um, today uh, materials arrived very early. And in terms of uh, all sorts of logistics, they did pretty well. Um, and you see, now, it's not INEC's uh, fault uh, when you talk about vote buying. It, it now depends on the um, uh, uh, conscience of the people and also their, um, how, how resolute they are to making sure that they welcome change. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the situation in the country, uh, not only in Imo State, is uh, nothing to write home about. And if you see a hungry man, and he comes out and he, you dangle 5,000 naira in his face, uh, chances are that if he's not strong-willed, that he would, uh, he would fall. We just started speaking with the Afghan government candidate who identified some issues that INEC and security ought to improve on. He did say that there were signs of food buying in some places, and also that palpable fear that could come out contributing to people not being able to come out to cast their vote. But he's believing the efficiency of INEC to deliver credible election this exercise and open that his party and himself will carry the day at the end of the day. Bami Dele Ajay, TBC News, Enne